the fucking YouTube making scoffers comments. They ain't seen in the elect, man. Going out to you, but you know, so, uh, 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 so-called hard rock truth and all of that, man. You ain't, you ain't sitting, no, you, you, you ain't looking for the elect, man. You're looking for, you're looking for a, a, um, a, a, a gratif gratification, man. Or, or for whatever form you're looking for it, man. Right? Because you're, a, you're a simpleton, man. You're simple in the head, man. All right. But like, I, like that goes back to the point I was making, man. Right? Prior, to, you know, prior to that demon coming up, man. That goes to the point I was making, man. Right? In the last days, was gonna come scoffers, man. Talking after their own lust, man. Right, talking up after their own the last day of their minds, man. All right. So it says there. This is back in the book of um, Amos, the ninth chapter. Right. And this is the um, this is the eleventh verse. It says, "In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen, and will close up the breaches thereof, and I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as in the last days." So, I'll, like I was saying, man. Right. You got people coming back and they're doing exactly what they did for, you know, from, from generation to generation, man. Because nothing new underneath the sun, man. Where's the prophets coming back as prophets, man? Scoffers coming back as scoffers, man. Right, and that's a beautiful thing, because, you know, if you've been doing work for all of these different generations, guess what, man? In, this, in these last days, the Most High is going to raise you up and you're going to judge the 12 tribes of Israel, man. Namely, two thirds going to be destroyed and the elect is going to be sealed, man. It's that clear cut and simple, man. All right? It says that they may possess the remnant of Edom and all the heathen that are called by my name, saith the Lord. So after all of that, we're going to possess the heathen, man. Especially you Edom, man. You're going to serve a hardcore thousand years of captivity, man. Right? Just like how you had the Negroes, the Spanish, Native Americans in captivity. Guess what the scripture says? You're going to, you're going to have to go back into captivity yourself, man. Right, so you've you've enjoyed you've enjoyed the, the, the sweat, labor, and tears of the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. Guess what? You're gonna have to be bro broken down. You set up our kingdom, man. You set up our thing, man. All right, that's where the scripture says here that they may possess the remnant of Edom and all the e all the heathen that are called by my name, saith the Lord, that doeth this. So the Lord doeth this, man. The Lord's gonna set it up, man. All right, and it says, behold, the days come, right, saith the Lord, right, that the plowman Right, shall overtake the reaper and the treader of the grape that soweth the seed, and the mountains shall drop their sweet wine, right, and the hills shall melt. And it says, I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel, which means the most I was gonna take us out of captivity. You got a lot of dudes that think they ain't in captivity right now, man. But by your birth, your so-called birth certificate, right, by your uh, um your 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 passport, right? No, your no, tax no. code and all of that. That's all a state of being enslaved, man. And that goal goes back to the curses, right? When you go into the, the curses that were put upon the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, it says they're going to be subject to cap. They're going to be subject to payments, man. Paying all kind of taxes and all of that, man. Right? Which are, you know are outrageous taxes, man. All right. Which all goes back to this, which all goes back to this man being being a devil, man. Right? Wanting more than he deserves, man. All right, it says there, and I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel. The Negroes, the Spanish, Native Americans are going to be taken out of that captivity that you're in right now underneath Esau. All right, it says, and he's going to remind you he's got you people in slavery when that martial law comes comes through, man. Right, a lot of you Edomites is going to, that, that think you're some you're on some kind of level, you so-called middle classes and all of that, man. I think you're 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 equals with the elites, man. You got to find out you're the your slaves to the elites as well, man. You, you're gonna find out your 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 peons, right? In the, in the, in the, uh, 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 um, in the face of the elites, man. All right. If you're making if you're making less than a mil, a mil a year, guess what, man? You're a peon, man. You're a nobody, man. And you're just like a, you're, and, and the elites, right? The elites, right? Of this society, the so-called uh, elite banking families, right? Of this society, they they see you as nothing, man, because you ain't made that 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 bargain with them, that fasting bargain with them, man. You ain't signed that. You ain't signed. You ain't signed your soul over to them, man. Right? So guess what? You're just gonna be just like you're gonna be just like the niggas that you hate so much, man. You're gonna be locked up in them camp, you know, them them uh, concentration camps, right? You're gonna be just like how the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. If you wish, if you have some kind of sense and you resist the chip, guess what? You're gonna resist it to your own destruction anyway, right? But guess what? You got more sense than some of the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, which, which the word will set forth for them. 
right? And the scriptures say you ain't supposed to take the chip, man. The mark of the beast, which is known, uh, which when you go into the word, it's correct, man, which means an incision, not, a, not, a, not a, 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 an embargo. It means an incision, something plotting in, into either the left arm or the right arm. That's when you go into the Revelations, the 20th chapter, right? That it says that receive not the mark in their hands, man. All right? So it could be either hand. So you know you got dudes out there that say, "Oh, it's going in, 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 into the you know to the other arm, into the other hand." In other words, right? Therefore, it can't be the mark of the beast. Guess what, man? The scripture, you know, that's that's just a stumbling block that most I set forth before you, man. When we go into the when we go into the word of uh, uh, the meaning of the world, namely karagma, when you go into how it's going to be played out and how you're going to not be able to buy or sell with it, you find out the RFID chip, right? By very chip, it's the mark of the beast, man. Right, so whether you want to take it or not, man, of which, of which, man, when you go into the law and statutes and commandments, you ain't supposed to be making no incisions anyway, man. You're supposed to be making up no marks upon your skin, so you ain't supposed to be getting no tattoos, and you ain't supposed to be making any incisions or cuttings into your flesh, man. So that goes to show you that the, the, the understanding of the law, the IUIC, keeps on claiming that they have, man. They don't have the understanding, man. Right? Of which, because what, what was what was Nate supposed to say, man? Or what, what was one of the leaders of so-called Nathaniel's camp supposed to say about um, about the mark of the beast? He was supposed to say, you know, obvi obviously we know through the scriptures, through the understanding we have from GMS, man, the mark of the beast is the RFID chip. But what was they supposed to say, man? What was Nate supposed to say? Oh, right, okay, it's not the mark of the beast, but you ain't supposed to be making no cuttings in your flesh when you go into the scriptures, man. You ain't supposed to be making no cuttings, no incisions into your flesh. See, that goes to show you that the guy, that guy ain't about this word, man. He ain't, about, he ain't even about the law that he, he proclaims so much, man. Right, and guess what? All of, their, all, of their, all of their wickedness is gonna be put to north as well, man. That's when you go into the top of the scriptures, man. All the wicked of my people shall be destroyed by the sword, man. All right, which is gonna be what's the modern day sword? Got them, 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 them Chinese making all kind of ICBMs, man. Right, weapons that can reach all, all kind of different parts of of the world in an hour, man. But going back into the scripture in the Revelations, the 18th chapter, where it talks about in one hour shall Babylon be destroyed, man. You got them, you got them Iranians pushing for their nuclear, uh, their nuclear weapons, of which, man, they already done, already got that, man. They already got that. You telling me after all of this time, all, all of these years and years that they've been looking to make an ice a, 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 a nuclear bomb, they ain't made it, man. They made that thing, man. Man, you can you can find out how to make that on the internet. And you telling me they can't obtain the materials to get that, man? Through by means of Russia, by means of the uh, the Chinese. You telling me they they uh, in South Korea and all of that. You telling me they haven't made it, man. They made that thing, man. They ain't just say they're just saying proper scientists, man. Right, and they made it from the principal point of destroying Babylon, man, which which is which which of which Babylon is the modern day America, man. Which Babylon just means confusion, man, Babel, right? And land, right? Land of confusion, man. Alright. So it says here, and I'll bring again the captivity of my people Israel, and they shall build the waste cities, and they shall happen to them. And why why are the cities gonna be waste, man? Right? Because it's the same point same point I was just making right now, man. You're gonna have it to where um you gonna have it to where all of these different kingdoms, all of these different countries, man. Their 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 things all gonna be brought down to nothing, man. They 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 yeah, their so-called precious uh, 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 buildings and all of that is gonna be brought to dust, man. All right, so we're gonna have to rebuild that, man. But we ain't gonna, you know, we ain't gonna sweat, you know, label, you know, we ain't, we ain't gonna sweat or anything like that, man. We're gonna have you you heathens build our thing up, man. All of these different nations, the Ammonites, the Ishmaelites, the Moabites, all of that, man. We gonna we gonna breed them so that they build our kingdom up, man. All right, that's why you go into the scriptures here and in the top verse, I'm gonna read it again, man. Right, that they may possess the remnant of Edom and all the heathen that are called by my name, man. So when we relax, that's why that's why it says, um, that's why the scripture says, man. Then you know, perfect rest is gonna be allowed, man, because we're gonna be in a state of, um, we're gonna be in a state of, um, of, of kingship, man. We're gonna be like kings, man. That's when kings is gonna be in the building, then. But you gonna know about it because the power is gonna be with you, man. Ain't no power with you right now, man. Esau can roll up, roll up into your thing, man, and, and shoot you all. all you. Esau's gonna roll up on you, man. He's gonna roll up on you because the spirit of the Lord ain't with you, man. He gonna, he's gonna stop that. He's gonna bring that thing to nothing, man. Right? When you go into the book of Acts, right? It's, it speaks about um, uh, about the men. Right, that held fast to this truth, and it pretty much says, man, if it was of the most side, if, if it wasn't of the most side, it would come to naught. IUIC's thing is gonna come to naught, man, because they ain't of the most side, man. But as you see, man, throughout the four corners of the earth, you got camps getting, getting set up, man. Right, 
and under 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 the, the prefix GMS, man. So guess what? That's that's the thing of the most. So whether whether you like how rough we're coming or not, man. All right. That's that's just the, that's just a thing of the most. Right? And what? Guess what? When Lord was on the scene, people people said he was a rough dude, man. We go into the scriptures. He says he was an austere man. All right. So guess what, man? We, we, we're made in the image of the Mosai, so we come in just exactly how the Mosai want us to come, rough, raw, and ready, man. Right? Um, and, and get back into the book of um, Micah now. Back in the book of Micah, the fourth chapter. Right, this is back in the book of uh, Micah, the fourth chapter. All right. Right, and I'm going to read that first verse because you ain't seen got down that verse yet. So this is Micah 4 and 1. It says, But in the, in, in, in the last days it shall come to pass that the mountains right, of the house of the Lord shall be established right, in the tops of the mountains, right, and it shall be exalted above all hills, and all people shall flow to it. Which I'm going to get into all kind of, you know, different scriptures speaking about the different points made there. But to premise it, when, you go, when, you, when they have summits and all of that, Right, they call it a summit because it's a, the summit is the top of a mountain, right? So that mountains and hills and all of that, that's talking about all of these different governments that you got upon the face of the earth, all right? So we're going to the scriptures, the most I set it up, right? That, that, that the house of Israel, the Negroes, the Hispanics, the Americans, that house is going to be exalted above all houses, man. All right? And here's the proof of that in the book of Daniel. Book of Daniel 2 and 44. It says, In the days of these kings shall the Mosai set up a, a, a kingdom which shall never be destroyed, and the kingdom shall be not left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. So, you got all of these different kingdoms that you got up on the face of earth. earth. Like I said, the Arab, so called Arab kingdom, so called Edomite kingdom, man, with Esau and his so called, you know, his, 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 with Esau and his, his, his monetary system, all of that. The French, the English, right? You got the Germans, the, the, the all, all of those, the, all those kingdoms, man. In the days of them, man, the Most High is gonna set up a kingdom that ain't gonna be destroyed, man, right? And ain't gonna be left to other people, but it's gonna break in pieces. It's gonna destroy all of them kingdoms that, that have been set forth, right? Because you're going to the book of uh, Amos, the ninth chapter, and the eighth verse, which I pulled up to start off with. Uh, one of the pieces I pulled up to start off with, man. Right? Guess what? Eyes of the Lord power upon the sinful kingdom is gonna destroy it, but in order to destroy it, can you gonna set one up straight after man? Right and that one's gonna like, they ain't gonna be left to other people. It ain't gonna be like in the olden days when we was gonna go off after 40 years and that man. The Lord's statutes commandments to the most is gonna be gonna be written on our hearts, on our minds, in other words, because the the word heart comes to the Hebrew word la mean the mind alright. And, 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 and the Lord's statutes commandments gonna be written in our minds. So guess what? We're gonna be in a perpetual state of doing right. Therefore, you ain't gonna take us down when we were in, our, when we were in, in um, when we when we obtain the kingdom, man. Because we ain't gonna be going off or anything like that, man. So we're just gonna be kings forever, man. All right. And this is now in. Uh, um, I'm gonna jump back to the book of Micah. Yeah, so <laughs> back in the book of Micah um, and, and I'm gonna read the last uh, uh, last uh, two lines and it says and it shall be exalted above all hills and all people shall flow to it all right so first principally you're gonna have the elect right that it will go that we're gonna flow to it but when you get into it you're gonna have it to where all of these different nations are gonna want to learn our customs and our ways man Right, and that's spoken about in the book of, um, matter of fact, I haven't even, I, I missed that note out, but that's, that's spoken about in the scriptures, man, to where, where we, we're going to pretty much set up our own, our, our, our own our governing system, man, our own governing bodies under the Lord's such commandments of the most side, man, all right, I'm going to touch on Isaiah the 14th chapter in the first verse real quick, I'm going to 
get into the next verse. So it's Isaiah 14 and 1. It says, For the for Lord will have will yet have mercy on is on Jacob, will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land, right? And the strangers shall be joined with them. And they shall cleave unto the house of Jacob. So who's the strangers, man? Go to the book of Revelations. Right? It talks about uh, uh, a multitude that no man can number. Right? That's talking about the one-third, man. So you're going to have the elect, the governing body, the 144,000 of Israel, where right, they're going to be sealed, right? They ain't going to take the chip or anything like that. Some of them are going to have to die for this word, namely the 144,000, which is what, what, you, what we give diligence to, 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 to seal, because once that number sealed, man, we're out of here, man. Right? The, the one, 144,000 and the elect, man. Once that, don't, once that, once that number sealed, that's it, man. We're out of here, man. All right? So those are gonna be the, what the one third that's gonna be joined unto them, man. That's gonna be that's 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 what he's talking about there, man. All right? And it says here in the second verse, it says, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in their land, of the Lord for servants and handmaids. So when we get set up, man, we're gonna have all of these different nations for servants and handmaids, but they're gonna have to live under our customs, man. They ain't gonna go. They ain't gonna be, you know, a, 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 a dude living under their customs and praying to their, their gods and all of that, man. They're going to live by our rulership, man. They're going to live by uh, uh, what we set up, man, right? We're not necessarily what we set up, but more so what the Mosai set up, man. Right? They're going to live by, uh, they're going to live uh, by, by, by uh, 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 the Lord's statutes and commandments uh, of the Mosai, man. The 613 Lord's statutes and commandments of the Mosai. If they go off, man, they're going to bash their heads in, man. All right? So, so the fear and sort of the, the name and the power of the Mosai must be uh, uh, established on the earth, man. All right. The scripture goes into that. All right. This is back in Michael, this uh, the fourth chapter. All right. It's Michael four and uh, two. It says, "And many nations shall come to thee and say, Come, let us go up to the mountains of the Lord." In fact, yeah, that's what I was thinking of. I was thinking of the next verse, man. It says, and many nations have come up and say, come, let us go to the mountains of the Lord and to the house of the Most High of Jacob, right? The power of Jacob, and he shall teach us his ways and we walk in his paths. The laws shall go out, shall go forth of Zion and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. So when it, he set us up to be a nation of kings and priests, man. Right, maybe we're in a state of being priests right now, maybe the word's being pushed out. Right, you got camps front four corners of the earth, like I keep on saying, man. Right, but after that, you're going to have kings that are going to be set up, man. And what does a king do? A king executes judgments, man. Right, oh, you did that this third between this party? Okay, this is the, this is the judgment thereof, man. And we ain't going to be judging, like it says, we ain't going to be teaching every man his neighbor, man. Because uh, 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 for all shall know the law, man. Right, so everybody's going to know the, the Lord when, when the King of the Most High gets set up. So well, who are we going to be judging? We're going to be judging these heathen nations, man. Meaning to say what, man? We're going to be kings over them, man. We're going to rule over them, man. With a rod of iron. Matter of fact, the book of um, Revelations 2 and 25 uh, best exemplifies that factor. All right, so this is Revelations 2 and 25. It says, but that which you have already, hold fast until I come. All right, what do you have already, man? you got the, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Most High, man. Right, if you don't have, you got these men out here, man. You don't even have, really have to do too much, man. We're in a state where you can just punch out any questions into Google and Google will bring you the answer, man. Namely, you gotta have, first and foremost, you gotta have, um, you gotta have that spiritual sift to sift out the bones and the meat. All right, which that's that only applies to the elect, man. Only the elect have got that, 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 that uh, the um, have only got that spiritual sift to where they can spirit, you know, sift out the. the Good information from the bad information, man. Because you got a lot of disinformation out there. You got more disinformation than you have truth. That's why you go into the book of Second Ezra again, the sixth, the seventh chapter. It talks about. Uh, um, it talks about. Um, in fact, in, in, fact it, 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 in the book of Matthew, it talks about uh, broad is the way that leads to the destruction, but narrow is the path that leads unto salvation. Man. Roughly paraphrasing, man. And the book of Second Ezra just speaks about a fire on the left. Or a fire on the right, vice versa, it doesn't really matter. Fire on the left and, the, uh, 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 and, and, and a deep water on the right, man. And the, and the path be so narrow, right, that only one man could go there at a time, man. Right? And it also goes on to say, man, if this is, you know, but, but it, you know, it's, that path it leads up to, you know, all kind of good things, man. And that's the heritage of Jacob, man. And what's all of those good things, man? Then back onto here, it says, that which ye have already, hold fast until I come. 
And he that overcometh and keepeth my works and what the works of the most side, man. Right, when you go into the scriptures, you keep laws, statutes, commandments, that's the basics. That all it is was supposed to do that. Right, you keep them to the best of your ability because you know he's also the devil, so he's going to make it damn near impossible to fulfill. You know, really, it's, it is impossible to do all of the laws, statutes, commandments, and more. So that's why the most I said it, set it up that the only way you can really obtain salvation is through faith. Right, and like it says in Revelations, man, go ahead whithersoever the Lamb goeth, man, whatever, whatsoever your outside, whatever the Spirit of the Lord, however that's flowing, man, where you're supposed to go with it, man, right, because that's going to be the salvation of Israel, it's going to be the Son of the Most High, man, right, which, which, which came on the scene under the name Yahweh Side, man, right, it says, and, and keep my works unto the end, right, like I was saying, the works, man, it's coming out here in season and out of season, man, giving diligence to making the calling and election short, man, all right, um, and keep, and, 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 and and overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. The most I gonna give power over a dude like that, over the nations, man. Like I've been saying, man, you're gonna, you're gonna have a domicile of the king of the kingdom, man. Right? Right? That's gonna be set up within the Negroes, Hispanics, Native, Native Americans. You should wanna be a part, a part taker of that, man. You should be willing to do, to give diligence, right? To making your court in the election show, so you can be a part taker of the ones, all right? That they're gonna obtain, uh, gonna obtain that mercy, man. And it goes on to say, right, give power over the nations, and he shall rule over them with a rod of iron, and as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, to shivers, even as I have received of my father. So the most is gonna put it on his elect, right? To rule over the nations. They're gonna rule over them with a rod of iron, man. So they're gonna be they, they, they're gonna be fierce, man. Right, the elect of the most is gonna be fierce, man. In fact, when you go into the scriptures, man, it says, I will put my anger into them, man. The most is gonna put his anger into us, man. We ain't angry enough, man. Right? And when you go into the scriptures in the book of Ecclesiastes, I believe it's in the seventh, the seventh chapter, it says, Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad. Right? And we're in our lowest estate right now, so surely a, a, oppression, right, is a perpetual thing, man. You got all kinds of things happening on the earth, right? That should rouse a man's spirit up, man. You got that weak spirit. Right, that be, that's been perpetuated by by uh by Esau, man. Right, that woman worshiping with spirit, man. Valentine.